desiblitz.com ki tere liye duniya chhod di hai tujhe pe hi saans aake ruke main tujhko kitna chahti hu ye tu kabhi soch na sake hi guys this is tulsi kumar and you're watching me on desiblitz.com thank you so much tulsi for being here with us today thank you arup for having me No problem it's a pleasure to have you here in Birmingham. Absolutely I'm thoroughly enjoying here in the UK. I'm glad you are. Hone hone zindagi ko ab tere hawale karu sanam re sanam re tu mera sanam hua re Music has been a passion ever since I was a very little uh, kid. and uh, you know when you're at the age of 6 7 you don't exactly know what you want to do but um, you're bent towards certain things you know your elders can see so i was extremely bent towards music and um, my parents saw that that you know whenever song would play i would just start humming and even in school i would be part of a lot of music competitions so my father heard me one day humming a track and he uh told my mom that she has a good voice and you know it's good if she gets a training right at this age so that's that's how i started my training in the field of music at the age of 6 uh, i was going to suresh vadikar ji's academy where i started my light classical training so mm-hmm. that's how the journey began and my love for music always you know obviously it was in the family also but um, regardless of that i'm the only um, one in my family who sings so yeah i think um, my love for music has got me where it's got me today nice that's amazing um so you obviously last year you had your first child as well yeah uh, so belated congratulations thank you thank you <laughs> for bringing so much. a baby into the world um do you think you would raise him in in the same kind of musical career show business or are you just going to leave it entirely up to up i to will it, leave it entirely up to him like the way my parents left it to me Mm-hmm. uh because i was always asked that you know is this what you want to do even when i was growing up um when i turned 16 so you know my mom actually asked me that are you sure you want to do this so i think that decision should be left uh to the child uh and uh, my baby's name is shivai and i'll entirely leave it up to him if he wants to get into this or he wants to get into something else he's absolutely free to choose what he likes to do. Mm-hmm. I mean that being said, would you say your career has changed or your life has taken uh, a turn since getting married since having a child or would you say it's been fairly constant? I'd say obviously there are changes but the changes have been for the good. Touch wood. Mm-hmm. Uh I got married and then you know after which I got um uh, I sang few of my biggest songs and then I had my baby and now I'm here on the on my first ever UK tour. uh so yeah uh life is good uh you know changes keep happening you have to keep adapting to the changes but i'll say touch wood uh career is going great and music is treating me very well my fans are treating me very well And um, as you said as well this is your first UK tour. Yeah. So of course you have you know you're recognized everywhere not just India internationally you've got yeah. a huge global fan base which is incredible. Um first UK tour you're here now. Do you think you could possibly be singing songs in English or you know moving slightly away from Bollywood for the sake of international fans or do you think you're always going to stick to to the roots? No, I'll stick to where I come from but mm-hmm. definitely I'd uh, like to try a uh, an english track you know whenever i get the opportunity and i'd definitely like to hum an english track in my next tour because this was a uh, you know totally punjabi you know since i'm accompanying uh, guru randhava on the high rated uh, gabru uk tour so i didn't prepare something but next time when it's a tulsi kumar live in the uk uh, i'd definitely uh, prepare something in english as well for the fans here i so we're looking forward to that <laughs> Um so can you also tell us more about so as you were saying before when you were younger you grew up and you got your training um there's also the T series stage uh, works academy can you tell us a little bit more about that the the vision the dream and how that all started 
that's uh, basically an initiative uh, that's been taken by my mother uh, she's sudesh kumari and my husband hitesh ralhan and i have my inputs in it as well my brother bhushan has it it's uh, his uh, inputs in the academy running as well so basically it's it's a dream of my father that we're trying to take forward because he gave so much chance to upcoming talent and uh, now we thought that we should have a proper academy to groom people who are interested in their fields like we have courses certificate courses diploma courses in acting singing dance modeling photography camera and lighting like everything that goes into getting into the industry so the training uh, the professional training uh, under the guidance of right faculties so this academy basically offers that and uh, now we ventured it even deeper uh, and it's called Gulshan Kumar Film and Television Institute of India that offers a wide range of courses for the upcoming talent to actually find the right position in the industry so they are groomed and they're given a complete practical experience and that's when uh, they're ready to enter the industry mm -hmm. that's incredible so that's it's a really great way to carry yeah. on your father's legacy as well <laughs> Thank it's quite you. beautiful um, now you've also done some work across, um, I mean I wouldn't say across the border, but with Pakistani artists, so for example yeah. Atif Aslam. Um, how did that start, like how did that even get initiated? Was there any, did you have any doubts or concerns regarding that? Or? No, I had no doubts. Uh, in fact, uh, my first track uh, was a collaboration with Rahat Fateh Ali Khan Saab. I didn't even know that's going to be happening. So I dubbed the track Tum Jo Aai Zindagi Me uh, from the film Once Upon a Time in Mumbai uh, for the music director uh, Preetam. And uh, I dubbed my part and I didn't know who's doing the male vocals on that. Uh, so when the song actually hit the screens and when I heard the entire track, it was a duet along with Rahat Fateh Ali Khan Saab, which was a huge thing for me. So that was something that was not planned, you know. Um, there are a lot of songs that happen uh, and then you get to know that, okay, that's that's the way they, they just, it just happened. And I would like to add that this song has been a turning point in my career. So yeah. Tum jo aai zindagi mein baat ban gai the other collaboration, was, which was a very recent one, uh, was with Atif Aslam. Uh, that's a beautiful track. It's called Paniosa, and it's always good to, you know, continue collaborating with artists. And music knows no boundaries, so I think that is something that's universal. Everybody loves songs, music, so I think there's there's nothing as you know, cross cross-border collaboration or anything. I think it's something for the good, for the good of the music industry. Mm -hmm. that's, that's amazing to hear. I hope to see you in more yeah. Pakistani productions. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, now, as you mentioned before as well, your brother, Pushan, who's produced, he's produced some films and you've actually sung in some of those as well. Um, can you describe your relationship with your brother and also with your siblings in general? Uh, well, I have uh, one sister. Her name is Kashali, and then of course it's my brother Bhushan. Uh, we share a great rapport, like all the siblings. We have a share of arguments also. We have, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of love deeply embedded. Uh, but yeah, uh, with, with my brother Bhushan, I really look up to him because um, I lost my father at a very young age. And uh, he's been that father figure for the family. He took up the business uh, at a very young age, just when he was 19. So yeah, I think that has, you know, and there's also quite an age gap between us. So he's about eight, nine years older than me. So I always look up to him and give him that kind of respect. And uh, any advice that I want from him, uh, work related, ev for everything, he's there for me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so he takes on the protective old yes, brother kind of Yes, absolutely. Role. And uh, my sister, we're, we're more like friends. You know, we're just um, a year apart. So, uh, for 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 my sister and me, it's it's literally like for any problem that I have, any happy news that I want to share, I fall back on my sister, and we share a great rapport. And uh, she takes care of all my styling, of how I'm gonna be looking in my videos on on stage. So yeah. That's another thing that she helps me out with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always good. Sisters are always good for that stuff, aren't they? Brothers aren't great. <laughs> um, so, of course, you, you're here, you're a singer, you've made it in music, and you excel, um, needless to say. Um, if you weren't in music, do you think that there would have been a calling for you in any other aspect in life? What do you think you'd be doing? Uh, 
I don't know if I would be away from music in any which way. Even if I wasn't doing it, uh, like practically, practically, I would be involved in some aspect of music. Probably taking taking part in heading a department uh, in the company. Uh, so yeah, that would also be related to music only. I don't mm. think I can take away music from me. Yeah, always a part of you, yeah. essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now your emotional hit, uh, Mere Papa. Yeah. Um, so can you tell me more about that song? Obviously, it means a lot to you. What sparked the fire? What What made you sing that song? Actually, we uh, were celebrating uh, 30 years of T series and mm -hmm. the journey of my father, Sri Gulshan Kumarji, uh, through a concert which happened in Mumbai. Uh, so for that, we had practically the whole music industry, the whole film industry, come and pay tribute uh, to my father. So the idea was uh, to do a track that is just solely dedicated uh, to my father and not just my father, I would say all the fathers, uh, you know, children dedicating this song to their father. So it was like a universal emotion that was um, going to be made. Uh, Jeet Ganguly did beautiful music. I sat with Manoj Muntashirji. I discussed with him the kind of relation I shared with my father but it's more than going on a personal level it's more generalized you know where every child can connect with their uh, fathers through this song and uh, for us it was very uh, emotional because I remember when I went into the studio to you know actually go and sing the song because I was going to be singing live on stage I just couldn't control my uh, emotions and even when my brother heard it, when my sister heard it, it was a very, very um, emotional thing for us because, you know, we were going to celebrate my father's journey and I was going to dedicate this song to him. So, yeah, it was a little tough for me to go up on stage without breaking down, without, you know, uh, being extremely emotional because I had to perform in front of an audience. But yeah, by, by God's grace, by Papa's blessings, everything went well and everybody who's heard Mere Papa has felt that emotional connect. Mm -hmm. um, could you sing us a line of that as well? It's a very beautiful song. Mere Asma, Mere Papa Mere papa, mere papa. As just a closing note, so obviously um, when you made your duet with Himesh Shamia back in around 2006, I yeah. believe that was. Um, now that was obviously a long time ago. You were very young as well. Um, how would you say your career has changed in terms of, you know, not just career-wise, but personally? How would you say you've made changes since then? I think lots of changes. 2006, I began my career and uh, I did a lot of tracks with Himesh Reshamya ji. I worked with Anu Malik ji. Uh, and with Himesh ji, it was a very good combination because our first track, uh, Janabe Janya, uh, hit really well with the audiences, struck a great chord with uh, the listeners. And after that, we did a lot of tracks together. Of course, life has changed. I got to work with a lot of music directors, uh, got a lot of learning uh, experiences through the journey. Uh, and personally also, of course, you know, life has changed. I, I got married, I have a baby now. And uh, yeah, but one thing is there that, you know, I started touring very late in my life so this is practically my first UK tour and I wish to just be on stage now because of certain um, reasons you know I couldn't take it up uh, you know live gigs and performances but now it's it's all out there and today when I go up on stage and I sing to the audience and the kind of love and feedback that I get I think that's what really uh, now now that's what something drives me to even even do better work when i see that instant connect with the fans when i'm up on stage thank you so much dulcy for your time thank you. it's been a pleasure having you thank you for having me best it was luck a pleasure. for the rest of the tour thank you thank you Arun. <laughs> She